Hi, Dr. P here again, and uh, in this video we'll go ahead and take a look at the addition of, in this case it's going to be HBr, but addition to conjugated dienes. And there's two different kinds that we're going to look at, 1, 2, and 1, 4 addition. So let's look at this addition. So we'll add HBr, HBr to 1, 3, butadiene. Now, it turns out that we can get two different products. So I'm showing the hydrogen that is added. Just to illustrate where the two parts of the HBr go. We could get the H on carbon 1 and the bromine on carbon 2. That would be the 1-2 product. Or we could get the H on carbon 1 and the bromine on carbon 1, 2, 3, 4 bromine on carbon-4, so that's the 1,4 product. Now the question is, how do we get these? So let's take a look at this mechanism. So we'll go ahead and start with our diene here. Here's our 1,3-butadiene. I'm drawing in the carbons and the hydrogens just so we can follow along a little bit better. Okay, so let's take our HBr. Lone pair, lone pair, lone pair. Don't forget your lone pairs. And we'll go ahead now and do our addition of HBr to an alkene. So pi electrons from the CC double bond grab that hydrogen and then the HBr bond breaks and those electrons go on to the bromine. So that now gives us C, H, H, H. And remember, it is the Markovnikov addition. So it is a Markovnikov addition, so the hydrogen goes to the less substituted, and we get our carbocation there. Now we also have Br minus. That was from our HBr. So that could go ahead and simply add in there, and that would give us now. our 1,2 product. But how do we get the 1,4? We have to add something over here. Well, one thing to remember is that this is an allylic carbocation. So really, we have a resonance structure here. I'll go ahead and add in here with red. I'll push my electrons. And I've got H, C, H, H, C, double bond C. H, and that H there, C, H, H, positive charge there. So now my Br minus, don't forget the lone pairs, Br minus can go ahead and add to the carbon there, and now I'll have H, C, C, H, 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 bond C, H, C, H, H, B, R. 
and this is my 1, 4 product. Okay, so when you're drawing this mechanism, you want to make sure that once you've done the initial protonation, you then draw the appropriate resonance structure. And then which product you get depends on where the bromine adds. Does it add to the carbocation on carbon two or the resonance structure of the carbocation on carbon four? And thus you get the one two product or the one four product. Now here's something, I know this, this, this video isn't nearly as long as the previous one, which is fine. That was an awfully long video for the first, first video of the chapter. But a thought to leave you with, how do we know which one of these we're going to get? Well, let me tell you something. If we are at minus 80 degrees Celsius, so low temperature, we will get about 80% 1, 2 product and about 20% 1, 4 product. If we're at 40 degrees Celsius, so higher temperature, we'll only get 15% 1, 2 product and 85% 1, 4 product. So think a little bit about what that means and in the next lecture video, we'll talk about, well, what these mean and why we get mostly 1-2 product at one temperature and mostly 1-4 product at the other temperature. All right, until next time, stay safe out there. Bye now.